<laughs> All right, so here's kind of the layout of uh, the concrete. We'll get some sizes here in a minute. He said these sizes are close, but not exact. Uh, we'll see if we need some measurements of those here in a minute. But uh, all right, so looking at the project, they're actually looking for the water line over there. But um, this green flag here, and then there's a pink flag, and then of course a green flag here. This is the start of the slab, and then it's going to run straight down the other side through there. This ditch here is coming from the press box over to the scoreboard. So here is the scoreboard ditch. Don't know exactly how deep that is. They said they put it in last year. And like I said, they're trying to find a water line. That green flag, of course, is our right corner where he's standing right there. That's gonna be where the pole is going to go. So the concrete's gonna come right up to that pole, a new pole that's going in there. And I guess that's what they're getting ready to start putting in now. The bleachers will be gone. They're gonna have the bleachers out of the way. He's also said he's going to try to find a place where we could take all of the spoils that we pull out, all the dirt and stuff like that. Concrete is now going around the press box. This light pole is going to be moved and out of the way. There is a two inch water line running down through here somewhere. That's one they were looking for. And then there's another water line coming from this meter box up here to the back of the building. Go ahead and look at what's going on here that looks like ground wire this is the pole coming down for the ditch i showed before going over to the scoreboard this is the data and also there's a water line coming out under here somewhere that's going to the bleacher or the field irrigation system so that's the front of it I said the bleachers will be gone these steps are going to remain here. He didn't mention where those cables are going at all. Those are probably old ones that are moving out when they move the poles. He talked about leaving the concrete section that's right under the step for the foundation of it, and then just pulling the concrete out around it. Down through there, we don't know. We'll have to see if we can do something better than that. But. Uh, all this concrete right here is going to come out because as our green flags are, of course, from our corner down there where those gentlemen are standing, we're bringing the slab down through here and hit there, kind of come up to this corner joint, saw it off, leaving this, removing this, coming over to the corner of the building then, pouring through the corner of the building. All this is coming out run, so the flower bed here. It'll be across this expansion joint over to this flag across this joint and then squared up removing that piece of asphalt down there that pole is going to be removed also the wood decks going to be removed and all the bleachers are going to be removed we'll have to cut the sidewalk what they're measuring there is the second pole that's going in i guess they're moving that over a little bit there but there will be two poles going back in and the existing ones removed. So there shouldn't be any overhead through that area that we're going to have to worry about. We're going to start it on the May 22nd when he's wanting to start the project. He's going to find out for sure if they're going to get new bleachers uh, the first week of May. So there's a chance this project could be pulled off if the bleacher supplier is not there. Once the beach bleach supplier says he has it, then we'll start on the 22nd. Uh, they're hoping to remove these. Graduation is going to be May 12th. They're going to start removing the bleachers May 13th. Uh, when they get the bleachers removed, they'll uh, let us start working. He said he might be a little bit flexible on the end date in June 22nd. It might, you know, he'll work with us if we have a little bit more time. That's just what he has proposed now. And uh, we're going to square off this asphalt with flags there because it's a little bit busted anyways, but I'll come down here to this corner and show it down through there. Basically, whenever they were un 
delivering the new light poles, they busted some of the asphalt, so he's like, let's just go ahead and replace it while we're doing it. So it's gonna start, go down the green flag, off the front of it. The press box is what's setting the length. 20 feet off the front of the press box, uh, the bleachers are gonna go up to the press box, and then 20 feet off of that is what he needs for them. So it's gonna be 20 feet off the front, and then measure the back. That green flag that's under the bleacher there is the best of his measurements, but we're gonna use the press box to square everything off because that's the only measurement he has is 20 feet off the front of it. But that's how we'll square it, not off the fence, we'll square it off of the press box. And here is the other corner that we're going to over here. Coming right off the front of the sidewalk, down to this point, over to that other yellow mark there, and then down to the front, 20 feet off the press box, we're gonna set our square, and then down there where they're digging the excavator. Around the press box, we're gonna pour all the way around the press box, and we're gonna, of course, cut over to the, I guess, the bathroom house right there, and then cut down and back over. So that's what we got so far. We'll see if we can take some measurements and go from there.